Okay, this is the vacuum I'm going to use tomorrow when I'm getting the bees out of the chimney that I was on a little bit ago. I'm going to do it early in the morning while all the bees are still in there. Uh, the chimney is probably a good 30 some feet up. So this is just a uh, bucket head vacuum. You can get them at any uh, hardware store, uh, Home Depot Lowe's, you know, on top of a five gallon bucket. I have a filter inside so the bees don't get sucked into the motor or blown out the back. All I've done is I just hot glued a uh, dimmer switch onto here. So as I turn this on, um, I can rotate the uh, power down and lower the suction. So what you want to have is a nice light suction to pull the bees through without, without killing them. So I can turn this down and get a nice easy suction on there. And you want to suck them through a hose that is smooth. You don't want the uh, hose that comes with it here. One like this because as the bees get sucked through they're going to hit all these grooves and it's going to kill them and break their wings and it's just not good for them so i have a uh, clear hose this is inch and a quarter um, outside diameter and it will fit perfectly into this hole nice and snug where the uh, uh, normal hose would go on the other end i have an inch and a quarter inside diameter uh, uh, pipe so I can fit this on there. It's a little bit of a bigger um, head to suck the bees up in, but also if I need to connect two of these together, I can shove one in this side. Now I have a, a nice smooth uh, coupling. I'll push these together until they meet. So right now, the one I'll be doing tomorrow, like I said, is 30 feet up. So if I get onto the ladder and then onto another ladder to get up to where the bees are at. And so I'm planning on just hanging a bungee cord onto here and wrapping it around um, the ladder that I'm on, this will hang down below me. I'll turn it on, set my suction, and then go up and get to work. And then if I need an extra hose, I've got another another 10 foot length I can just easily hook onto here. Um, it should go pretty smooth. The uh, bees are right down inside the uh, chimney, about maybe a foot. Um, there's probably a good 20,000 bees in there, so I'll definitely fill this bucket up. The only thing I probably shouldn't have done is I glued this to the side, I hot glue gunned it, but the problem is when I take this lid off now, it's stuck to this. So when I go to pour the bees into my um, uh, hive box I have set up for tomorrow, it may be a little cumbersome. So in the future what I may do is make this a disconnecting plug to where when I unhook this uh, section in here I can take the motor off completely and then I don't have to worry about trying to lug the motor in the bucket and everything else around while I dump it into the uh, into the hive. But I think this will work pretty good. Uh, we'll test it out tomorrow.